Sabbatical. That's a cool Sab- fucking word. <sighs> it is a cool word. So is crumbs. <laughs> <laughs> that. All right. I'm just going to let that slide. Um, so is obliterated. Welcome to late to the game. I'm Cat I'm Chris Ham. Oh. We're going to play more Superman for you. Superman. Hey, guess what? Jesus. <laughs> I love it. Is there any way that we can, like, replay the part where Superman dies over and over again? Sure. I love when Superman dies, even though he doesn't. His heart beats, like, every 17 days once. And then his, like, super gay fucking pleasure bot, like, comes and saves him <laughs> from his grave, takes him back and heals him up and everything. Pleasure bot will save you. <laughs> I need... Fly, brother. <laughs> I was about to say something that I don't want to be dropped at all over the internet. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'll let it I'll let it slide. <laughs> You're gonna have to, because all I have to do is not say it. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Oh okay, okay. Okay. Oh shit. I, I gotta say, dude, you're really kicking ass. In this yeah. Game. I mean I'm doing alright. Now you're going to die. You know that, right? <laughs> yeah, because you said that. Mm-hmm. Boo. I killed all three of them. I Why know. It's my fucking super... super move. Dude, super moves are good. Yeah. Bah. Bah. Just fucking. Oh. So, I was drop kicking the dick out of these guys a second ago. So check this out. I figured out a way to weight train while I play video games. Do tell. Okay, dude. There's like these wristbands that you can buy with like weights in them. Yeah. And you just strap those on when you're playing video games. And guess what, dude? Mm. You're weight training while you're gaming. That's pretty smart. I mean, I guess. Yeah. As long as you, as long as you're like not resting the control pad like on your legs, like I am right now. Yeah, uh, that happens most of the time I'm playing. But like whenever I get up to go pee or get a drink or something, that's when the weight training like really kicks in. There you go. Not to mention that, but like I've got a 100 pound turtle shell with like backpack straps on it that I've. It's coming, and I can't wait because I'm just gonna strap that fucker on. You've gotta wait. It's what? a hundred pound turtle Holy shell. Piece of shit. With backpack straps, dude. So I just strap it to my back. Why did you? It's a. It's weight training. Have you not ever seen Dragon Ball Z, dude? Like I feel like it's more than just a uh, cartoon. Jesus. It's a way of it's life, a way of dude. Life. It's, it's <laughs> fucking life coach. I'm gonna do the cartoon. turtle hermit training, dude. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Get me a fucking I guess hundred I pound don't that. turtle shell, and I'm just gonna wander around all over there everywhere with it. It's not a bad idea, except I feel like it might be kind of bad for your back. Well, did you see that? The game froze up for a second. Oh, Ooh. it's because I'm fighting cyborg. Oh shit. He's Weren't you him earlier? I was him earlier. Dude. But he's a bad guy. The aliens have landed. The skies are all red. They blew up a whole fucking city. Is that blood in the skies? That would be fucking awesome. I don't know. I think it's just like burnt ozone. Uh, that would be we're s- going to say it's blood. That's That would be so much more hardcore if that's just blood. Blood. Like, just is... they turned off the gravity, and that's just everybody's blood. It's the just whole like, city's yeah. blood just floating around. <laughs> Dude, that's fucking... <laughs> To a real dark place. That's like fucking creepy. <laughs> That's some Stephen King shit right there, man. I know. Oh my god, this. Oh my god. Fu- oh my god, fuck off. Ugh. There you go. How do you like that? Hey, oh shit. Oh shit. Oh, come on. There you go. Yeah, get you now. Oh, I forgot. I, d- I haven't even shot my, like, power. I don't even know what it is. Oh, nice. Yeah, got him. Haha, ha, I win. No, you don't win. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, it's like where Superman is like really cool and genius thinking. That's pretty like, sweet. Dude, and in Injustice, I swear you have to see that skin. It's so fucking awesome. Oh yeah, you, you need to show me. Because yeah, wear- he doesn't wear the blue and red and yellow suit. He wears like a black and red one. So it just looks even better. I feel like they ripped that from Terminator, though, and or vice versa. Which came first? No, uh, yeah, Terminator definitely came first. The first Terminator came out in like what eighty five or something. You're like asking that? me historical questions here, dude. Hey, we're Superboy. Oh fuck! He shoots lasers out of his hands too. And he also wears like a gay garter belt. 
Look at that fucking thing. It's a super belt, dude. Like, I feel like his superpower is, like, if he turns left, it, like, switches to his right leg. And when he turns right, it switches back to his left leg. <laughs> what? His garter belt. Like, he's it's on his left. Oh, now it's on his oh, right. No, oh. that's how fucking shit works, <laughs> Carl. <laughs> I thought you noticed something like they forgot to do that in game, but actually that's pretty sweet. <laughs> that's a fucking talent, dude. <laughs> that looks hilarious, by the way. <laughs> that's how he presses the ladies at the bar. He's like, I'm Superboy. <laughs> like, if I had a pistol, I was like, damn, Superboy. He'd be like, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. And they'd be like, oh, wait, bullets don't hurt me. So, no, I'm not dancing anymore for you. He's like, boop, 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 Drop the bass. <laughs> Dude, okay, here's the thing that I have. Like, do you think that being a young superhero is worse or better than being an older superhero? Like in your, you know, late 20s, early 30s. Is that the old superheroes? Yeah. Or the late 20s, early 30s? Yeah, those are the old superheroes. I don't know. Because you got a little bit more wisdom, right? Especially if you've been doing it since you were like 18, you know? Right. I mean, Spider-Man was like, he turned into Spider-Man at like 14 or something like that. Yeah, but he had Uncle Ben to teach him, so... <laughs> For a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but with like one saying, he made like Spider-Man realize... That's true. That is <laughs> like the entirety of Spider-Man's character is that one thing that Uncle Ben said to him, basically. Nah, I don't care what you say and I don't care what teachers you know but I feel like if you could say one phrase to somebody and they like automatically know what they're supposed to do for the rest of their life you did a good job you know oh yeah no for sure I mean that's <laughs> as my dad always just told me want in one hand and shit in the other and see which one gets full faster and right that's, that's like that's fun that was your dad's <laughs> thing that he said yeah. my, my dad's thing like seriously my dad had a thing too um he always said in a kind of sarcastic tone was well all it takes is time and money <laughs> like anything you ever were like hey we should do this or i want this or blah 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 and he goes well all it takes is time and money great that's a solution that is immediate right <laughs> well it's like yeah it's like that's exactly what it means it's yeah. like well do you have time and money no well then you probably can't fucking do that can you i want to climb a mountain all it takes time and money how much money do you need? Like, I feel like you could go up, like, for free and climb a mountain. You could probably climb a mountain for free. You probably wouldn't do very well. Yeah, because you wouldn't have, like, the, the, like, you know, thing to jab into the side of the wall and pull yourself up or the harness ropes and right. the backpack with the chute if you're just smart about it. <laughs> backpack with the chute? Yeah, because, like, what if you fucking fall off the side, bro? Oh, well, <laughs> like... then you'll... I think we're thinking of two different mountains. <laughs> 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 Most of the mountains I've been on, you wouldn't just immediately fall down a, you know, <coughs> complete incline oh, where no. you wouldn't hit anything on the way down. Oh no, this fucking parachute's a knapsack. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I packed my lunch in this parachute. That was stupid. You eat the lunch while you're falling because it's your lunch in there. Well, might as well make the best of this situation. <laughs> Start chowing down on a sandwich and an apple and <laughs> drinking in an orange juice box or some shit. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, uh, back here again. Awesome. Dude, have you watched the new Bill Burr special on Netflix? I have not. Ooh, it's damn hilarious. I do like Bill Burr. He's a pretty funny guy. Yeah, it's damn hilarious. Have you seen John Mulaney, like, has a show? What? It looks terrible. It looks like they he fell into the trap that, like, all stand-up comedians do. Kind of like Comedy Bang Bang. Like, that show is kind of a piece of garbage. I don't even know what that is. <sighs> it's kind of a piece of garbage. I just know that every, every fucking popular stand-up comedian gets offered a show, and if they're lucky, it's not terrible. Like, Louie's great. That's a funny show. Yeah. Uh, Chappelle Show was awesome. Uh, yeah, yeah, Chappelle Show. He he got to do a different 
kind of format. So the same thing with and Louis. And then Carlos Mencia came in and tried to fill those shoes, and it didn't really work out that great. What? Carlos Mencia, dude, the tried Mencia show? Dude, the Carlos oh. Mencia show was like the exact same thing as Dave Chappelle's show. Yeah, except garbage. Yeah. Because he's not funny. Mm -mm. I don't like him. I don't either. He's a piece of shit, dude. Yeah, he really is. Like, I've heard... Um, oh, I'm a beaner. Beaner's fun. It's a funny word to say. Beaner. That's it. Like, that's that's Carlos Mencia. <laughs> I'm gonna make fun of my Spanish mom. She makes tamales. Ha 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 ha. I'm she a says, beaner. She says words funny. Yeah, he's not. He's not funny. It's kind of George Lopez's shtick too. Is it I just me or does that George Lopez? Superboy look like Joey Tribbiani. <laughs> Maybe a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> hey, how you doing? <laughs> this is Joey Tribbiani, dude. I'm. Just, uh. This is, he's just in one of his bad soap <laughs> operas. <laughs> Guys, I got the part. I'm Superboy. <laughs> oh, I totally should have hooked up with Phoebe. It's the only couple that made sense in the whole show, and they never hooked up. <laughs> yeah. That's true. That's fucking true. I think they did it on purpose. They had to have. Yeah. It was like, that was the couple that made sense. Everybody else was like, ah, okay, whatever, you know. The dumb guy and the fucking weirdo chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. They fucking, like, had, like... A perfect. connection, you know? Like, they were fucking soulmates. Well, see, what's funny is that they kiss on screen, like, in one of the episodes. Do it's, they? I don't remember that. Yeah, it's whenever uh, Joey's... This is fucking weird. I can't believe I'm, like, recalling this. <laughs> Go for it. But Joey... But do it in 28 seconds. Joey's got a part and uh, that he's trying to audition for, but the guy says that he's a bad kisser because he has to kiss a guy, and so, like, he kisses Phoebe so that he can get input on how well he kisses. Hmm. I don't remember that, but awesome. Yeah. Okay. So, well, peace, bitches. Oh uh, no, let, let's we'll beat we'll beat the cyborg real quick. Beat the cyborg. Beat that cyborg. No peace, bitches. Now. I do remember. I remember there was an episode where like all six of them like kind of almost hooked up with each other, mm -hmm. and for whatever reason like something happened and they didn't, but they all got real close. And I think it was like. Wasn't like Ross and Phoebe about to fucking bang on a pool table? Possibly. Yeah, they were like at a bar or something I don't remember exactly why but there was like a pool table involved and like Ross like gets her up on top of the pool table and then everybody else walks in and they're like oh yeah it feels like grass or something like that I don't know possibly yeah it's been so long it's been so long this is a good episode right y'all talking about you know fucking friends and I don't even know what else. I don't remember. Chris Ham immediately noticed my big box of friends over there. When yeah. I walked in tonight. <laughs> like, that like, was that was a Christmas gift to my girlfriend and I. Because like I've really been wanting to oh, watch fuck. those since I've become an adult. I think that happened at some point. I'm 28. I should be an adult now, right? Probably. Okay, good. So like, yeah. You are wearing a Ninja Turtles t-shirt. <laughs> Before you came over, I was wearing the... And I did like, buy you an action figure for yeah. Christmas. <laughs> oh, man. I may be a child still. <laughs> and we're doing a show playing video games for people. Yeah. Oh, man. Let's just blow our brains out. Wow. Out yeah. We really need to... <laughs> just get that over with. <laughs> take some introspection here. <laughs> what the fuck are we doing with ourselves? Next time on Late to the Game. Suicide Pact. <laughs> I'm down. <laughs> we just fist bumped it, by the way. Fist bumped it. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Jeez. Wait, well, we'll goodbye get, for goodbye now, for super now, child. Super child. <laughs> we are. We're super childs. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. The game has told us our fate. Look, and it's even telling us, I must find a way to escape. I've got the to warn the world. <laughs> That's our inner adult struggling so yeah. hard to get out. <laughs> it's like, you haven't paid taxes in four years. What the fuck is wrong with you? Well, bye. Oh, bye.